Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and so. sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask God's forgiveness for all our sins. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. 
God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you with the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men, who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit that is within? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now, the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. 
In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the people in Capernaum were very impressed with Jesus. At first, they were impressed because of his words. He, they said, he spoke with authority. And he spoke with authority because he spoke the truth. Someone who speaks the truth speaks with authority. Someone who always tells the truth is a person with credibility. And the person who speaks with authority because he speaks with the truth, a person who speaks with the truth because he is credible, is a person that is truly impressive. Humahanga tayo sa isang taong makapangyarihan ng pagsasalita dahil ang kanyang pagsasalita ay totoo. Kapag humahanga ka sa isang taong sinungaling, baka may problema ka. Kailangan bang hangaan ang taong nanloloko? Jesus is impressive because He speaks with authority and the authority of His words come from the truth. And later on, Jesus heals a man possessed by an evil spirit. And the people of, at Capernaum were impressed even more. His words, it is not only his words that is authoritative, but even the way he does things is author authoritative. They were impressed not just because of the miracle he performed. They were impressed because he does good. He shows compassion. He shows love. And Jesus is able to do this because in the words of St. Paul in our first reading today, he is not just a natural man. Jesus is a spiritual man. His words and actions are authoritative because as a spiritual man, Jesus possesses the wisdom, the power, and the Spirit of God. My dear brothers and sisters, it is very human to try to impress others. At minsan napapagod tayo sa kaka-impress sa ibang tao. Gusto kasi nating tingnan tayo ng maganda ng ibang tao. Ayaw nating may masasabi silang pangit tungkol sa atin. 
And so we want to pre present the best of ourselves so that we will be impressive. Gusto nating maging impressive sa ating mga superiors, sa ating mga boss. Gusto nating maging impressive sa ibang tao. Gusto nating makita nila ang maganda tungkol sa atin. And there's nothing wrong with that. But let us just see to it that we impress them in the right way. If you impress people by doing something that is wrong, you are not impressive at all. May mga nag-i-impress sa ibang tao at sasabihin nilang, tingnan mo, kaya kong lumusot sa isang mali na hindi ako nahuhuli. That is not impressive. That is shameful. We impress others by becoming like Jesus. You become more impressive if you become more like Jesus. Speak the truth. Tell the truth always. Do good to others. Show love, mercy, and compassion. And you will surely be impressive and people will be amazed at you. The only way to impress others is to become like Jesus. Please stand. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life, so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick and those who suffer may be freed from their bodily or spiritual afflictions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, ina ng awa.